Hey, in this demo we're going to compare the Xcopy performance speed in X1 versus X2 and potentially find new parameters for the Xcopy chunk size itself. So let's start by describing the environment itself. This is a single X1 array running uh, Zios 4 with the new XMS, XMS 6.0, which is supporting both X2 and X1. As you can see, I created eight volumes, eight data stores that I'm going to use to clone a VM2, and the data store called Xcopy minus source, which is the data store that currently contains the Windows VM that I'm going to clone to the eight data stores. And the way we're going to do it, we're just going to go to vCenter, and as you can see, you can also see the data stores here. I'm just going to clone this one using VMware Horizon. Before I do it, I just want to show you that we are actually using the Xcopy parameter size of 256 KB, hence the zero here. That means that VMware will utilize an Xcopy with chunk size of 256 KB when it's cloning the VM. Why this specific parameter? Because that's the one that we find as a good sweet spot in Extremeo X1. Uh, to be giving the best performance with the best latency when you're issuing an Xcopy commands. So now let's go back to vCenter and use the Horizon server that I have here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a pool of 100 VMs that will basically use the Xcopy that we just saw before. going to select the data stores that I'm cloning, cloning to that VM. There you go. That's the next button. And again, as I said before, I'm not going to customize the VM and I will not power it on. The reason that I'm doing it is to show you just the Xcopy traffic itself. I don't want to mix other uh, VM traffic with the Xcopy operation in chef. So this is just a pure cloning operation. So let's see it, let's finish. And what I'm going to do now is suspend the recording and resume it once the pool has been created and we can see exactly how long did it took and what was the latency using the Extreme AO web UI. Okay, so now that the cloning is done, if we go to the array itself, we can see that the cloning operation started at 8.52 and 0.5 seconds, milliseconds, and concluded at 8.55 and nano, 0.5 seconds. So that's exactly three minutes, which is 180 seconds. Next, we're going to change Xcopy to the parameter that we recommended in X1, which was 256 kilobyte. So as you can see, I've already did it and rebooted the ES6 host, so it's 0256. And we're going to rerun this test on Xtreme.io X2. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to now create a VDI pool of 100 VMs, full clones, same eight data stores that I'm cloning to and I'm cloning the VM from that data store and as I said in order to minimize the effect just to X copy I'm not going to customize the VM and I'm not going to power them on just so we can see the X copy traffic itself and do not isolate it with any other traffic so let's go ahead and finish this at this stage, I will suspend the recording and resume it once the operation is done so we can observe exactly how it took using the Zios console, the Xtreme.io web UI. So we can see the operation started at 7.58 to 30 seconds and concluded at 8 o'clock and 20 seconds. So that's total of 80 seconds. And what else we can observe, if we go to the blocks tab, we can see that because we used the 256 KB block size for Xcopy, we can indeed see that uh, that block size was heavily in use as expected. Lastly, let's rerun this test with uh, using the 4 megabyte parameter in Xcopy. So I'm just going to repeat the Horizon uh, VM's creations. Again, recreating 100 full clones VMs. I'm going to use the same data stores as I used before. The eight data stores. And just like before, 
I will not customize them and will not power them on because we want to focus on just the XCopy traffic itself. So let's go ahead and press the finish button. And the moment that the clone will actually start, I'm going to press the stopwatch timer. So we can see the clone started. And I'm going to suspend and then resume the recording once all the 100 VMs have been fully cloned so we can observe the storage metrics and how long exactly did it take to complete the operation. So there you go, within less than 50 seconds, all the VM has been fully cloned. And let's go now to the storage and see what we can learn from there. So if I go to the performance tab and I zoom in, we can indeed see that the operation started at 729.05 seconds and concluded at 7.30.20 seconds. If you go to the latency tab, view, we can see that there was roughly observed 0.39 microsecond of latency. Another very interesting thing is the bandwidth itself. So we can see that the total bandwidth that we used was picked up to 39 gig. That's of course internal traffic and that's one of the usage of the metadata and the CAS architecture of Extreme IO. So this is just amazing results showing you how quick the new parameter can leverage operations such as Xcopy. So that's total of 1 minute and 15 seconds using the 4 megabyte chunk sign. So to conclude, X2 was much, much faster than X1 that we already knew. Three times actually faster than X1. But what was interesting is that when we changed the parameter to 4 meg, which is 496 KB, this is obviously the ES6 side, it was also quicker. Now bear in mind that I've only used and cloned 100 VMs. You can imagine that these five seconds will be eventually transported to many, many more seconds that you can save if you clone thousands of VMs. But it was also interesting to know that the latency was a little bit higher using the 4 meg. So it's really different parameters that yield in a better timing to clone the VMs. Thank you very much.